The early part of my career was on Wall Street. I worked at a boutique investment bank and a stock brokerage firm. You become entrepreneurial because you're a stockbroker, investment banker. You live and die in this kind of independent movement. Without that, I feel like everything else wouldn't have happened for me later. It's almost like martial arts in a way, like training you to like just hit your head against the wall all day long and not care about failure. That's the number one thing. That's why everyone doesn't become like an entrepreneur or like I'm gonna own my own business because fear. Is the market big enough, number one, for this idea to live in, right? We're not going after, you know, niche, tiny, small industries. The whole ethos is big, crowded, monster industries and categories that we can do our ninja tactics to and our own like DNA to. 99% of the inspiration comes from like my upbringing, you know, being in New York City as a teenager, hip hop, skateboarding, art, all of it goes into everything that we do. When it comes to, let's say, Truff, you don't look at that bottle and think like, oh, that's like a New York City skate-like inspired bottle, right? That's not the point. The point was when we were skateboarders and the, the irreverence, we're different and we're happy about it and we're better than you and we, I wanna land this trick better than you or I wanna write my name higher on a building than you. What all that New York City stuff goes into any design or project that I'm involved in. I got lucky a few times, especially with my own brand, but my own brand couldn't have, might maybe not have worked if I did one thing wrong, what, you know, got lucky maybe, great taste, good timing, hard work is luck. Like, I just wanna outshine everybody on my level. That's the real prerequisite.